Oracle, and this is Triple Super Trend version 1.2, available on my Google Drive. Link in the description. You have Triple Super Trend strategy. I mean, this is how, uh, this is what I use. It, it works. It's great. And you'll see it over here. People are like, yo, uh, 75, 78% results on this stuff. And, and I mean, it is very, very nice. But you do need to filter it out a little bit. And that's what I've done with my add in, which is basically a simplified version of the Triple Super Trend. Now, uh, again, you can download that. The code is here. And then after you download the code, you're going to go over here and select all then you're going to come over here pine editor open create new indicator and then you're going to wipe out all of this stuff and uh, paste in my code hit save add to chart and you're going to be all set what did i add what's different with this version well first thing i did was give the ability to filter using the macd a lot of people so many people use the macd macd is so old it is ancient but wow it is great <laughs> it is fantastic so yeah you see a very very good uh, filter here with the macd so when the macd agrees and then we show it you can turn it off of course and just go raw if you want to uh and you get a lot of signals and and I think that's kind of where the strategy is a little bit difficult, is it does give a lot of signals. So my version allows you to reduce the amount of signals. The first thing, uh, strict mode, to where you don't want only two of the three to agree. You want to wait for all three to agree. And then we have that. You can use that. But you can also use the MACD to reduce the number and uh, make sure that the MACD agrees before you're going to make the trade. Other thing that you can do is I added an ADX threshold. I love getting about a 21 on that thing. And it greatly reduces the number as well. Look, you got a pretty solid thing here. Sell, buy, buy, sell, 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 sell. We're, this is actually an uh, active going on as well. It's about 1 o'clock, yeah, 148. And uh, yeah. So this is pretty much today. You know, you hit in this buy, the sell, what have you. Of course, you need something else for confluence here to make sure that things are going. I use extreme trend. I use pivot points. Extreme trend is nice because you can see it's green. You know, we're coming up. It's green here. I'm not going to just go and sell in these two opportunities. I'm not going to do it. It's, it's still green over there. Um, so it looks pretty clear that we're going up. We do dip, but uh, whatever. So yeah, a lot of good opportunities here uh, for buy, sell, and you do have more filter options. I also added a show EMA. So if you're interested in the 200 EMA, you know, the general rule, if we're above the EMA, I'm only going to buy. If we're below, I'm only going to sell. And that, that sort of works in this instance as well. All the new filters are in. You're going to be able to reduce the number of uh, signals and uh, you can just go through and have a great day. Now, this was optimized for the e-mini NASDAQ. Uh, that's what I trade for the one minute usually is where I'm at. But you can set it to two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, uh, hour, whatever you want. Uh, just be aware once you start filtering this down, you do get a one and done kind of signal for sells sometimes and buys sometimes. So just be aware that uh, turning this off will get you the duplicate sell and buy signals that you need sometimes. So, uh, yeah, if we just turn that off completely, set that to zero. So, I mean, you can see now that we get a sell here, then we get another sell here and another sell here. So, uh, again, just be aware that you are going to be filtering that out once you start clicking the button. So you kind of need to adjust it the way that you like it. Right. And we can go to uh, oil. We can see what's going on with oil. That's so annoying. We can see what's going on with oil here. We have a nice little, well, that needs to be filtered even more. But we have, a, we have some nice signals here. A little bit of a sell, a little bit of a sell coming back up. We have a nice sell signal down through here, a buy coming back up here. Sells and buys, just making it happen over there, right? You know, use your fibs as you need to, to understand that, yeah, we're hitting 618 and bouncing. I mean, you know, use your common sense with, uh, with trading. So yeah, have a beautiful couple of buys over here, beautiful sells. So uh, yeah, it, that is really noisy. That is surprisingly noisy. What do I need to set this to, uh, to just reduce this? That is startlingly noisy, but uh, you know, it's oil. <laughs>
It's, it's oil. Maybe maybe not. Maybe go strict mode. Yeah, maybe go strict mode only. So strict mode. Yeah, strict mode gives me pretty good signals. I like that. So, so again, you know, just play with it around, play around with it. See where it's going to take you. And we can try Bitcoin real quick and see what kind of signals we get over here. I pro that's probably set a little too stern for Bitcoin. Uh, you do get a decent buy, get a decent sell over here. Bitcoin's all over the map. I'm sorry. You know, that's the way Bitcoin does. Let's go to one minute oil. I'm just kind of curious now. Um, but yeah, you know, go to ES, go to NASDAQ. This thing is built for NASDAQ one minute again. Uh, so yeah, you get pretty solid, a uh, couple of buys over here. You got a pretty solid sell signal on that. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good indeed, uh, even with oil. So filter it up, get it done. You may want to add the MACD. You may want to add the ADX. You may want to crank it up really high. It depends on the day. Uh, 200 EMA is built into it. You can uncheck it. It vanishes. Uh, you can go strict mode if you want. Uh, so fit around with the settings and see what's comfortable for you. See what you like. Of course, with all of my add-ins, you, uh, you can adjust the MACD. You can adjust the ADX, signal length, the DI length, whatever you want. Indicator time frame. You can play around with it. Come in here with your styles and uh, yeah, do anything that you need over here with all of this stuff so yeah uh, triple super trend simplified version 1.2 again I use this every single day and it makes quite a bit of you know makes quite a bit of profit for me at least so um, yeah as with all things entertainment purposes only you do you you trade the way that you want to trade this is just an indicator and you do need more indicators to use other than just this one so you know and I use a few things I'll use the I'll use the extreme trend. I use pivot points standard. I do love pivot point standard. It lets me know when things are going to bounce and when things are not going to bounce. I like traditional. Uh, I do add Fibonacci, sometimes the Woody, what have you, you know, laugh it up, but uh, at the name. But I do think it gives a lot of good bounces, at least on, uh, at least on the NASDAQ. Uh, that Fib, you know, I think it does give a lot of great bounce points uh, to go off of. So, yeah, use your own thing, you know, sort of see. Because if it's bouncing off of a VWAP, if it's bouncing off an extreme level in the VWAP, or it's bouncing off here, uh, let's see which one this is. This, oh, there we go. All right, so, you know, it's bouncing off here, and then you have a buy signal up here, then I'm going to take it more seriously than if it was not there. I think I filtered this way too much uh, for my own good. There you go. Um, so yeah, you're bouncing off here. You have a buy signal, extreme trend agrees. Uh, you know, you look at your MACD, your MACD agrees. Uh, you know, you got everything going for you here. I'm going to take this trade over anything else than if I'm just in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden it just says sell buy, sell buy. So entertainment purposes, use this to, uh, you know, use this with high risk use this with your own system but yeah there we go triple super trend simplified version 1.2 let me know if you have any questions in the comments i appreciate you watching we'll see you next time